This is a manual urine dip, and it's not a really complicated procedure. Many doctor's offices do this. It basically is 10 different tests, and you'll learn about those in lecture, uh, all on one little stick. It's called a dip stick because you take the stick and dip it in the urine. Very complicated process here. But somebody put a lot of thought and effort into how to make this work. So what you have to do is after we dip it, we're going to read against the color chart. So after you dip it, you're going to wipe it off. Then you're going to make sure you hold it by the handle end. And you want to make sure you're lined up with the appropriate scale before you read it. If you get lost, go back to the beginning and start again. You don't want to read the first one before 30 seconds, but the middle ones, by the time you've read it, they're, they're close enough on time to read it 60 seconds. The only exception, the leukocytes, you do not want to read the leukocytes until it's been a two, full two minutes. Often there will be one, especially on a practical, that won't turn positive until the very end of that time. So all you're going to do is you're going to take your specimen, which is, in this case, we've put it into a centrifuge tube. You can also do it in just a regular 13 by 100 tube. When you put it in, you want to make sure you get all of the squares damp. And on this particular one, there is a small white square right here that is used by the analyzer for color comparison. We're going to ignore that in the manual count. This is your first strip. This is the glucose one. So you want to make sure all of those get wet. And you're going to have a clock or a timer that you're going to check. When I dip it using a clock, I tend to like the second hand to be either on the minute or the, the 12 or the 6. It just makes it easier to follow. So you dip it. I'm going to tap it to make sure I get any excess off. I'm going to wipe the back of it to try and keep the container as clean as possible. At the end of 30 seconds, what I'll do is I will simply compare the color to what it is here on the chart. There are two scales on some of these. You're going to use whichever one your instructor or your employer tells you to use. So at 30 seconds, we're going to read this one. Then we'll line up the bilirubin, which is the second one. Then we'll line up the ketones. Then we will line up the specific gravity. And again, all you do is just find the color it's closest to. If it's between two colors, pick one. It's not that vitally different. Our blood is positive. One thing about positive blood is after it goes to this dark green, it'll actually go to a blue color, which just means it's greater than what the strip can manage. Here's our pH, our protein. Trace in some laboratories is considered positive. In other laboratories, they ignore it. So again, that's going to be a policy based on your classroom or your employer. We read each one. This one has already turned positive for our leukocyte, but if it hadn't, we would make sure we wait the full two minutes before we read it.